did a good job, Mama. Good morning, y'all. Amy here, and welcome back to the farm. Y'all, we have had quite a week here on the farm. We have had multiple severe thunderstorms go through, and here in Florida, sometimes our thunderstorms are even worse than like a very low category hurricane. And it was, it was, it was some. We had power outages for multiple hours at a time. We've had limbs down. There's two pieces of metal off that barn roof that came off. That's gonna have to be repaired. So it's been a crazy week. And that's why you haven't seen me as much because I haven't had the internet to be able to be here and talk to y'all. In just three days, which is on Saturday, she will be 10 weeks old. 10 weeks old is typically the age you can start weaning. And so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be giving her bottles. I might go down to one bottle a week, like or one bottle a day for a week or two. Ah, I dropped it. Nimium, Nimium, give it to me. Ugh. Now it's all messy. Now it's all messy. But anyway, she's gonna be starting to wean pretty soon, which going down to two bottles a day is the beginning of the weaning process. And the spoiled little miss here does not like that at all. She thinks she needs bottles whenever she sees people. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I do in the morning is I give her her bottle, which we did, and now we gotta do all the other chores. Come on, y'all. Good morning, ladies, are y'all hungry? Are you ready to eat breakfast? <gasps> Annabelle. Miss Sarah Jane. Willow. All right, y'all, I'll go get your breakfast, okay? Speaking of storms, y'all, it is not even July yet, and we already have a potential hurricane. Um, I follow a weather page called Mike's Weather Page, and he's not an official meteorologist, but y'all, he's really good at what he does. He's based here in Florida, and so if he says there's something to watch, there's something to watch. And so I've been following his page and keeping up with his stuff all during hurricane season. And there's already something out there. Okay, there's something out there that could potentially be showing up next week. And it's not even July yet. So I just wanted to mention that because when the hurricanes and things do start, and this is supposedly supposed to be a pretty heavy season for storms, we'll see but i know y'all hang on but if that is true and if that is the case then my videos are going to be hit and miss because we live out in the middle of pretty much nowhere okay and oh look we put up a pool for the kids you're going to be seeing that in the background now um we live pretty much in the middle of nowhere, and so when power grids go down due to storms, we're like at the end of repairs. Like towns, cities, those come first, and then more like subdivisions and things like that. Just a minute, y'all. And then it's us rural folks way out here. So if a storm comes through, which is potential for uh, multiple this year, uh, we'll be without power for a long time. And we're prepared for that, but just letting you know that this summer could be hit or miss with seeing us because here we are in June and something's coming already. Dancing for the chickens, Duke. Daphne is still put up. She has been here for almost six weeks now 
And so the person that we got them from said, oh wait, no, no, Sarah, don't go that way. Hold on. The person that we got her from suggested keeping her pinned for six months before letting her go. However, I already have like her mate who's gonna stay here. Um, there, you know, Duke. So with him going in and out and being familiar with her, I think, I think that I'm not gonna wait quite that long. I think I'm not gonna wait too much longer. She is so unhappy in there. And I mean, she's fine when Duke's in there, but I do let Duke out as you see. And I don't know, I just, I don't like the idea of like, hold on, I'm show you her now. See, she just paces and she wants out so bad. And like, I'll give her pieces of fruits and vegetables to peck out and she gets like, her the layer food and I give her bird seed and I don't know she just I just know she's not happy because she wants to be out with Duke so I'm thinking I'm gonna take the risk and let her out sooner than later not today obviously give it a little bit more time but sooner than later y'all another thing that happened two days ago I took a little clip of it. I'm gonna put that in here and then I'll be right back. Lucy had a pretty little girl this morning. She did so good. She's such a good mama. I see her. You did a good job, mama. She's beautiful. just the cutest little thing um we were talking about names and stuff and lucy i have lucy and she had her first baby we named ethel and her second baby we named iris and she's at, she's back there somewhere oh can you see that tiny little at the tip of my finger that tiny little baby right there that is the baby nursing off lucy so we decided, we think we decided we're gonna call her Goosey. Um, it's different and it's cute. Call her a little Goosey. Um, but she's doing fantastic, y'all. She's doing great. And I am so thankful and relieved because I feel like it's been a lot of calf drama lately. Mabel, don't do that. A lot of calf drama lately. And I appreciate <laughs> no drama. You are getting too big to be holding, ma'am. I don't bite my chin. Okay, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna see the people. <laughs> uh, uh, you're so heavy. This is Mabel, as you know. She's sweet. She's sweet, yes she is. She's a wee girl, she's a wee girl. That's Mabel. Don't bite me, don't bite me. Don't nibble nibble, don't nibble nibble. <laughs> you're so sweet, look how big she is. Look how big she is. <laughs> she says, mama, don't do that to me. Oh, don't sue me. Don't sue everybody how big I am. I'm the baby still. Pearl, don't knock over the camera. Pearl! Okay. Moving on. I also wanted to let y'all know that Sarah Jane here is doing great. Yes, she is. She doesn't want me to, to be hugging on her right now. But she's doing great. And she has become friends with Annabelle. Uh, they lay together. They are buddy buddies. You want to come here too? Come here, Annabelle. Come here, closer. Come closer. Annabelle, let me love you. Let me love you. No camera. Let me love you. Um, so they're all doing great. And they all get along just fine. And hey baby, Annabelle. 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 <laughs> so everybody's good. Everybody's good. Everybody's getting along just great. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. At night, I allow the goats over here in this area. I have this area here, and then I have this area here, and then I have a back section 
we see the cross fence right there. I have a back section back there. Now, all the time, the goats have this back area where they are now and access to that back area over there. But this area right here, I only allow them in here at night. And the rest of the time, I have the chickens out during the day over here. I don't let the chickens on the goat side because the fencing, quick explanation, this side here is baby goat proof. And because it's baby goat proof, it's also chicken proof. They can't go through the fence. So I have this area that I allow the chickens in so they can free range all day long. And then I put them up at night in the coop for their safety. I have a few little bannies that stay out. Well, I have this, I've got one Brahma right there. She got, she got out before I closed the, them up at night, she slipped out and I was like, whatever, she'll be fine. But usually I just have a couple of bannies that stay out and they roost in the top of the barn at night and everybody else gets put up. I have their, their wings clipped so they can't fly to the top of the barn. So they go in there to roost in their coop anyway and I just close them up in there so they're safer. The littler ones that can fly away from like any type of predators or whatever they're out. So every morning, these get let out. And then they'll be free range all day. Look, do you see a piece of metal missing? That's one of the pieces I lost in the storm. Also, can you see, you can't really tell very well, that corner, whole half of that corner piece of metal lifted as well. We get some rough storms here in Florida in the summertime. Pretty rough. So, oh, I banged you. Uh, I opened that little gate there, but then I also come in here, I have this inside chicken coop that I use for um, baby births as well, if I need to. But this gate opens and I can, it's an automatic water, and I can open this gate and that little gate and it lets them just be all around everywhere. All around everywhere. And so they free range all day. And then as you know, my other chickens are in chicken tractors and the chicken tractors get moved every morning. So they get fresh ground, fresh grass every day as well. Oh, I gotta go feed the boys, but let me show you my okra real quick. Look, it's coming up. Okay, two rows are coming up really well. And that back row there is kind of sad. And I'm not sure exactly why. Because all three rows were treated exactly the same. But I had tomatoes previously in these two front rows. And potatoes in that back row. And so it has to do something. Somehow had to do something with nutrients that it took out of the soil or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and fertilize that back row before we have the next bit of rain. And then over here, I put more okra. These are, peppers are doing good. I didn't, never ended up putting anything back there, but this is my other row of okra here. And that's doing good too. That sun is bright. Okay, I'm about to go out there the chicken tractor out there. But y'all, I wanna show you my tomatoes real quick. I'm gonna have to turn you around. They need a lot of attention out here, but y'all look at all the tomatoes. They're splitting a little because um, we've got a lot of rain here lately when it had been so dry before. But and they need some tying up and some attention out here for sure. But they are, Look at these over here. See, see how I need to tie these up? But they're producing tomatoes. Lots and lots of tomatoes.
there's still 11 ducks because I can't catch them. <laughs> if y'all seen the previous video, you know that I am going to be downsizing my ducks and I am attempting to catch five of them. And so far have been unsuccessful, but we're working on it. We're working with them and see they come close. That's not the issue. Yeah. It's it's them coming close and me quickly catching five. Because you catch one and then they all get upset and the rest will run. So I have a cage pin thing around there. Uh, that over there where I feed them and I've been feeding them in it and They're getting more used to it and then I'm going to put them in it or like I'll close them into it when I'm ready to catch them chose those is because there was a couple of them that Wilbur, my Drake, wasn't being the kindest to. Like he was, he would run them off from the rest most of the time. And when he would do his Drake thing, mounting them, he was really, really rough. And so the backs of their heads were like not in great shape. They were a little like they had missing feathers and stuff and one of them had it where it was almost like bloody he was so rough so those few are the ones i put in the pen over there to uh go to a new home they'll all be going together and then wilbur will have five 
And quick fact, a drake is very interested in doing things all the time. And so in order to have a peaceful flock of ducks, you need to have at least four hens to one drake so that it's not too much on the hens. And I will have five hens to one drake and that will be ideal. Why my drake Wilbur had his favorites and then some that were not his favorites, I don't know. Come on girls. That's Wilma. That was just Daisy that went by. And there's Minnie is still in there. Come on, Minnie. The kids uh, helped me pick which ones to go and which ones to stay. There were two, like I said, that he would not treat well, the Drake. And those two I knew I wanted to go. But as, from the other ones, the kids helped me pick which ones they wanted to stay and which ones were going to go. All right. So, going out the other way. On, there we go. There she goes. All right, and now we have these. So, we're gonna, um, I can't. If I set you down there, you'll fall into the pond. Let's put you over here. Okay, we're gonna lay it So I just showed y'all where the piece of metal came off the barn roof of that one little coop that I use for like extra things and for babies being born and stuff. That's where I'm going to put these for right now until the person who wants to purchase them can come pick them up. Okay, before we go get the ducks though, I have to take my eggs down to my roadside farm stand. I use frozen two liter bottles of water as my ice packs and my eggs I usually will put in this refrigerator here if I have to put them out for a couple of days because I bring them in this floor to heat y'all those ice packs you'd have to change them so often if I kept them all day and all night so I just bring them in at night and I put them back out the next morning and that gives the ice a chance to freeze and my point is I don't have the eggs out here today because I had to wash a whole new batch of fresh ones because if it, they go a couple of days and they don't sell, I take them into my house and I'll cook them up and feed them to my dogs or what, what I do, prop, bleh, 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 bleh. my process is I sell my big eggs and we keep the little tiny banny eggs and we eat those ourselves. But when I have my big eggs on the stand for a couple of days and they don't sell, because I want to offer the public the freshest that I have. I'll take those off the stand and those will go for us. And by us, I mean like the, the family farm and then uh, fresh ones go back out on the stand. So I wash and put out fresh every couple of days. All right, I've got three dozen chicken, two dozen duck, and we're gonna go down here and put them on the stand.
He's okay, pretty ladies. It's all right, babies. Yeah, it's all right. We're gonna put you over here in this in this little uh, pen area for a little while, okay? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him in here for now. I'm going to um, let's see. I don't think there's any way they can get out of here. So I'm gonna go back and shut this coop again that y'all saw me open earlier. Okay, they're gonna have this area in here and I'm gonna let them have this outside area as well because it'll hold them. I'll shut this little gate right here, that, that little gate right there. And I don't think they can get through these holes, but because there's little ones here, that was piglet proofing this pin back when I did Coonies. And so if they do get out of here, I'll show you real fast. They can't get out of here because this whole thing here is wired up to here. And that's what keeps the chickens in and that'll keep the ducks in. So, and then if they're out here, I'll just turn them back into there when I need to catch them. So let's get them brought in here. Oh my gosh, but first, look, 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 look. It's Goosey. Let's go see her. Hi, little baby. Hello. Hi, pretty one. It's okay. Oh, don't run away. It's okay, pretty baby. Come here. Come here. You're beautiful. Where's your mama? Come here. Come here, baby. Look at that little face. Oh, my goodness. You are so stinking cute. Mabel, hold on. I'm looking at something else cute. You're cute too. But let me look at this little baby. Oh my goodness. I just want to hug it. Okay, now let's go to the ducks. by the ducks and then we're gonna herd y'all out of here so we don't have any but let's go this way come on. come on let's go don't worry about it it's okay go this way no you don't have to go that way go this way go this way go this way go this way what do you think about that duke what do you think there you go go in there very good Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll get them some water set up and some food and they're just gonna chill in here for like a day or two until they can be picked up and since they're in here I'll be able to catch them really easily and get them put back in that crate to go to their new home all right y'all thanks for hanging out with me this morning while we did some stuff until next time keep on the sunny side <laughs>